two ringers in parallel running 80 watts worth well 70 watts worth of a load <clears throat> one ringer two ringer outputs get converted to DC combined goes to the capacitor bank 100 volts DC steps down to 14 volts DC keeps our super capped recharge that runs the inverter and powers the loads um, I shut the inverter off this is how fast our capacitors will recharge and those recharge extremely quick and it recharges with virtually no input We're consuming 14 watts on the input 1 amp at 14 volts so we're using 14 watts on the input with two ringers powered up and then obviously I turn the inverter on our caps are charged up turn the inverter on bulbs come on nice and bright and our caps will drain because this is slightly too heavy of a load an ideal one would be 60 um, but either way it still does it the output is still higher than the input from our energy scavenging of the circuit and there's our input two and a quarter amps almost three amps actually so three times fourteen is the input if I disconnect one bulb we will recharge the caps while simultaneously running the load and our input drops to 14 watts so here's the excess power coming from magnetic resonance and our energy scavenging parts of the circuit this thing also does give off wireless power that can be collected and sent to that capacitor bank that runs things and yeah you focus on magnetic resonance you're good Two type 77 um, ferrite rods laced with met glass is what's doing it I think just one beefed up ringer is slightly more efficient than two in parallel there's some type of weird effect that occurs where they slightly fight each other but Nonetheless, I still it recharges that cap bank so fast. And I'll, I'll disconnect uh, the inverter. I'll turn the inverter off, and just look how fast we recharge that cap bank. And that's our input drain, less than one amp, and we're recharging that cap bank so freaking fast. And then boom, we can run that again. So we have way more output over time than input. So that's that. And we still have wireless power we can play with. So feel free to like, comment, subscribe, support the Patreon, support the channel. And if you want to buy a ringer circuit, I sell them for 150 bucks a ringer circuit. You can buy them through my email, through my Patreon. And yeah, this thing's incredible. Again, here's the output. Somebody on watt output. Output is clearly higher than the input. 14 volt input at 3 amps so 14 volts times 3 amps is our input and our output is 71 watts and again I shut the inverter off input drops to virtually nothing while our caps charge up super fast very fast. I'll turn the inverter on again. It's 
kind of becoming a Don Smith style system. And here's the inverter. Here's how it looks. Pick everything up and move it, no problem. Just don't want to knock anything down. Here's how the box looks. That capacitor bank, the large one, is not being used yet. I'm curious to see how fast that one could recharge compared to this little one. I was trying to miniaturize the system as much as possible and see what I can get out of it. And this is what the table looks like. Nice long view. I'm going to plug in another light to it. I'm going to plug in my work light. We are now running. So, make sure this doesn't short anything out. This isn't a breakthrough, I don't know what is. I'm gonna hook up another incandescent, because I love incandescents, they give off heat and they're cozy. I will hook up if I can find it. See if I find an incandescent here. Um, both outputs should sustain it. I will switch this out. with a incandescent. I like the clear ones. Eh, it's not that bright. I'm gonna go with the clear one. Which I know I have. And these crystal power cells have been running non-stop. Uh, incandescent clear one is down here somewhere. No, oh, got one. Come on. I have like ten of them. I think I got one. Alright, good. No, it's got shit soldered to it. Damn it. Ooh, found one. Nope, still got stuff soldered to it. Alright, good, here's one. Gonna have to bring this thing outside so we can do a test in the middle of the woods and show you guys how cool it'll be. Is that... Draws six amps. Output is still seventy watts, which is odd. Hmm, something odd's occurring. I don't like that. It's ringing very loud. I'm kind of maxing the system out, so. I'll leave that disconnected and connect an LED spotlight. 9 watt LED spotlight. There we go. So I'll let that sink in. So yeah, things are getting crazy, very cool.